Well, howdy, howdy, everybody. Hey, this is Richard with Rip One Outdoors. The Big Ripper. We're out here at Henderson Park, just across the Bay St. Louis Bridge from Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. Right down on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And today we're riding the Free Air Eden. Y'all have been so fortunate that we can uh, bring this Free Dare Eden to you. Even a couple of weeks after we brought the Free Dare Sega. And I can tell you that there is a lot of like likeness in the two bikes. But then I can tell you that the Eden is different in many ways and we'll get to some of that. Let me pull over here for just a minute. I'll give you a good look at it and then I'll tell you what we're going to do. There you go. The Free Dare Eden. I tell you what, in this beautiful location, look at the yacht over here across the canal from us. So, the question that I want to leave with y'all is as we go through this review today is I've been looking for the ultimate cruiser bike. I'm always looking. And I have found in the Free Dare Eden that it has all the capabilities of being the one that I'm looking for. It has quality components. It has hydraulic brakes. It has a buffeting motor. It has a 20 amp hour battery for all your long range needs. And it has a torque sensor, which here recently we've, we've come to love torque sensors on these bikes. So here's what we're gonna do. Before we get into it and tell y'all any more about it, we're gonna go back to the workshop and we're gonna do a little unboxing and assembly it's not a whole lot so uh but i'm gonna have through the video i'm gonna have chapters so you can scroll over to whatever chapter you want and uh you want if you want to avoid the unboxing that's fine but i'll have the unboxing there for any of you that wants to see it and hey we'll get that done in the shed y'all and then we'll meet y'all back out here so before we go any further let's roll that intro Okay, hey, y'all, we're back in the workshop. We're fortunate to have the Free Dare Eden to unbox here today. So, hey, let's get on with it. Before we go too much further, some may ask, why are we doing an unboxing on the Free Dare Eden when we've already done the unboxing on the Free Dare Sega? And it's going to be almost the same bike, except this is going to be a step through uh, on the more of the cruiser type of bike. But, hey, Somebody may not see the Free Dare Sega review that we did. There you go, same. We're used to seeing this. Big old clump of uh, foam. Let's set that aside. Let me get the camera here where you can see. That's basically what you're looking like in the box there. Some may look at it and say, you know, that it may be overkill for all the foam and everything. But I can tell you what, this is a company that values the condition of the bike when the customer receives it. I'll tell you what, let's get it out the box and uh, get, all the, get all the foam off of it, all the tape and packing and everything, and then we'll go on with it. Okay, before we go too much further, I want to show y'all the contents of the accessory box. Start right here, Free Dare Owner's Manual. Here's a little wrench. A multi-tool, the bag for the multi-tool, pedals, a double spot LED light. This is the little control buttons that mount on the 
handlebar, a bell, and a three amp charger. And last but not least, there's the front rack. Everything else is mounted to the bike. Now we'll get started with the assembly process. Handlebar. Okay, y'all, handlebar's done. Uh, just wanted to throw a little tidbit of information in here for you. Hey, look at the Free Dare website. They got videos all over that website that show you the assembly process. I mean, you can either watch me or you can watch them. Kickstand. Put some Loctite on them bolts. Blue Loctite. Here's the torque for the kickstand. Mm. When you hear that, it's tight enough. Mm. Okay, we're going to unscrew the shaft that holds the front wheel on. Before we, do, before we put the front wheel on, we'll reach down here and as like we always do and we'll remove this little temporary packing device here that's up in that brake caliper. Get that out of the way. We can tighten this up now once we get the shaft run through. No use in worrying about that nut twisting on the other side because it, it's, it's locked in place. Okay, we'll put the front fender on now. And the light. Now we attach these little fender stays, the wire bracket, down on the fork. And again, a little bit of blue Loctite doesn't hurt anything at all here. Let's put the battery in. Problem is, the battery for the Eden is over there charging. But what I do have is the Free Dare Sega battery here. Do y'all think we would be lucky enough for this to fit? Let's just try it and see. Well, look at there. Imagine that, huh? Perfect. Okay, we can we can do our testing with that, but to get that battery back out of there, just put the key in it, turn it, push that little button right there, and it and it pops it loose. Okay? Simple as that. We'll pop it back in so we can do some testing with it. Don't do as I do, do as I say do. I put this little uh I just set this little controller pad off to the side right here and I went ahead and put the handlebar on. On the Sega, I made sure I plugged this in. This I, I made sure I plugged this little controller pad in to the back of the display there before I put the handlebar on. I didn't on this one. I wound up having to take the display off to do that. It's just easier. So y'all might want to take a note of that. Like I say, don't do as I do, do as I say do. Before you put the handlebar on, plug the little controller pad wire into it. Okay, y'all. Hopefully y'all can see this. I've been having trouble with some glare, but I can't get outside because it's raining. Uh, let's see if we can add this Free Dare Eden to the app. I already have the Free Dare Sega. Here it is right here. So I'm gonna hit the plus button and my Bluetooth is turned on on my phone. I'm thinking that it's going to be this one right here. Here we go. We're going to put our phone number in. We're going to hit verify code. And it sent us a text. And that code is 713292. And then we're going to hit bind bike. 
And there we go. There's the Freedair Sega. There's the Freedair Eden. And you know, you can lock and unlock it here. And bike detection. Let's see. Let's do unlock. And it, and it turns on. You know you can set a password on here. Uh, where nobody can just come here and just ride off on your bike using the electronic. I mean, I guess they could downshift it and all that and ride off on it, but not using pedal assist. And the way you set that password is uh, hold your plus and minus down, and you go in advanced settings, and then you have your password right there, and you set whatever the password you want it to be. Start password equal off. If you want to use the password, you turn that to on. And then you, you tell it whatever password you want to use. Y'all can experiment with that, but that's a pretty good little security function right there. So here I'm going to go into settings. Uh, and here you can have account, account security. That's my information. Message notifications. If you want theft, if you want theft detection turned on, you, you turn that on right there and you tell it how you want to be notified by app, by phone notification, uh, text, or email. Okay, if you want to, if you, let's just say you have two bikes, and we have the one here I call the Ripper, and there's the ID number for it, 9743. Scroll over, and then there's the new one, okay? Uh, we're going to rename this one, and we're going to call it the Eden. Done. Okay. Anytime you want to know what's going on with the bike, you can just, you can look at it here. There's a step over, that's the Ripper. And we look right here, that's the Eden. So that's a good way to keep up with, I mean, which, which bike you're looking at on your app. So we won't show you any more about the app right now. Maybe we'll get up back out on the road and we'll show you some more things. I hope you managed to see this. Okay, y'all, it's good to be back with you. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I don't know if there's anybody that ever enjoys the unboxing, but there you go. <laughs> this bike has a lot to offer when it comes to quality and, conform and performance. I'm not going to state the price because prices sometimes change and my, my video is not when I put it out there. So all I'm going to tell you is go back, look down in that link in my video description and click on that free dare link. And that's going to take you to the free dare site. You can click on the free dare bike and check it, check it out and get all the specs and features and all the things that I might miss there. But as we said, we've always looked for a, always look for the ultimate cruiser. What do I look for in an ultimate cruiser? Well, I'm gonna tell you the first thing I look for is I look for something that's going to give me the right posture. And so far, from what I've seen, this is the first day I've rode this bike. But from what I've seen, this bike is going to put me in the correct posture that I need to have an enjoyable cruiser ride. I don't have a lot of weight on my hands. I'm not leaned over. Now, the Sega is the mountain bike style. And of course, you know, as I even stated to y'all, that it does tend to lean me forward. Let's ride out this way, y'all. I'll tell y'all before we go any further, it's 74 degrees here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And it's mostly cloudy. But hopefully that won't be harmful to our video. You see the big old Bay St. Louis Bridge yonder in the distance? It's a beautiful place, y'all. It's a beautiful place to ride bikes. Check out some of these houses. So what are some of the selling points that I think this bike possesses to entice somebody that's that looking for the ultimate cruiser? 
Number one, and very important in today's e-bike times, is, is UL certified. I'll put the graphics of the certification numbers there. It has Samsung battery. It has a Bafang motor, very popular. And I would say it's like a workhorse. This thing's full of torque. And that Samsung battery is a 20 amp hour battery for, for your long distance drivers. Yeah, if you, if y'all, uh, people that watch my channel, last year sometime, I guess about this time, we did a video down at the Possum Walk. And we talked about what if there was a buff, buffet of e-bike where you could go and pick and choose just what you want to go on your bike, just the right components. You know, sometimes we go to looking at bikes and you say, well, I like this one here. I say, oh, I really like this one but it doesn't have hydraulic brakes. Or I like this one here, but the motor's questionable. Things like that. So what I'm fixing to tell you is I think this bike here is gonna check off most of those boxes for you. And it may be just exactly what you've been looking for. Is it perfect? No. And I, won't, and I will explain that towards the end of the video. So, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, I mean, this is the first time I've rode it. I'll tell you right now, I'm in love with the way this bike rides. It's a very comfortable bike for me. I'm sitting upright. I'm not leaning on my hands. I've got gloves on, but I really don't need them. The hand grips are comfortable. The company says that it has a 90 mile range. Now, y'all know what I always tell you about the stated ranges of these bikes. Take them with a grain of salt. I always say take, you know, take the range that they give you and divide it by two and you'll be pretty close. And this one right here, just based on what I've seen out there on the internet, other people, other people's uh, reviews of this bike, it looks like this bike may get you about 45, 50 miles. And if so, that is really good. So yeah, it has, it has a very attractive price. That's for one thing it's got. It's got a torque sensor and it has three levels of pedal assist. We're in level one. And I see a lot on the, on the Facebook site, Free Air Facebook page, people wondering, well, why don't it have more pedal assist levels? You don't need them, folks. If you want more speed, just pedal harder. I'm in pedal assist one right now. I'm, I'm pedaling 15 miles per hour. But yeah, this, this bike does everything you need it to do with the three levels of pedal assist. The Freedair Eden has an app control, anti-theft, GPS tracking feature where you can Hey, once you've got it, I've already showed y'all how we install the bike onto our app. Yeah, you can lock it and unlock it. If somebody tampers with the bike, you'll know. You can set up the app. I've already showed you that, how you set it up to receive communications that something's going on with your bike. You can lock it with a, with a password. It's got route tracking, place where you can uh, start, a, start a route and record that route. You can do calorie burn. It's got all kind of special features that I guess that the modern day e-bikes are going with. Inside the app, you can change your riding mode. Now the, the default riding mode for this bike when you're, when you're not using the app is sport. But if you're using the app, you can use eco mode, which offers a rider up to 12 miles per hour. Or you can use the normal mode, offers a rider up to 20 miles per hour. Or if you want to run all out, all out run, you can go to the sports mode. And that's going to give you a ride up to 28 miles per hour. 
Y'all, we're fixing to hook it across this. I ain't nowhere near going to run through that water. But we're going to go up right here. Yeah, yeah. All right, we've got a little hill to climb here. Not much of a hill, but it's, hey, it's good enough that we can, uh, we can check this bike. And I tell you what, in, in pedal assist one, it, it climbed it easily. Okay, y'all, we're fixing to enter the, the Bay St. Louis Bridge. It's 2.1 miles across. And Bay St. Louis is on the other side. It's gonna be a nice little ride. Looking for the ultimate cruiser. One thing you may wanna consider is exercise. Of course, you know, everybody says you can't get exercise on e-bikes and we all know that that's not true. But with the torque sensor, it's gonna provide a more natural and realistic feel on those pedals. And I'll tell you something else, you can, you can work up some cardio on it too. I just switched to pedal assist two, and this thing will just blow 20, 20 mile per hour out of the water easily. All right, let's do a little speed test through here, y'all. We're on the main beach road here. I'm just gonna throttle up and let it, just let it run. And the throttle is not governed by the pedal assist, I can tell you that. We climb in a hill. Twenty five mile per hour. Ooh, I had to slow down. But yeah, it, it easily gets twenty eight mile per hour. No problems there. Okay, y'all, we're here at the Duck Pond, down next to the train museum here in Bay St. Louis. We want to talk to you for a few minutes about some specs and features on this bike. Um, we'll start up here. We just start with the handlebars. I've already mentioned the hand grips here. Hand grips are rubber and got some nice contour there. Feel really good. There's your thumb throttle. There's that Tektro hydraulic brake lever. Shimano seven speed shifter. Nothing new there, we see that. It comes with a bell, but I put my bell on it because I like that right there. Uh, nice color display. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of dark, y'all. But it is, it's a beautiful color display. Over on your left side is your, your control pad right here. Very pronounced buttons, locations, uh, minus, plus, information. Turn your headlight on, you hold that down for two seconds. And there's your power, you hold that down for two seconds. I put a bar in mirror on it for my own safety. On the rack, I didn't show y'all how to assemble the rack, y'all, but it's just four, four screws, okay? You take those screws out, put your rack up there, put those screws back in place. As for what you do with all this gum, gum bunch of wires right here, just stick them in behind there. That works good. You got a double spot LED light here and a reflector. The fork is a suspension fork with lockout and adjust. 160 millimeter brake rotors front and rear. And how about those Kenda tires, huh? 26 inch by four inch. There's a good look at the tread. There's a hidden compartment for that 20 amp hour battery. 
put your key in on the other side, push this button right here, that battery's going to pop right out, and just sit and take it out as needed. Got a little opening right here on the bottom of the battery compartment. That's where you plug your charger in. There's your key. You put your key in. You turn it left to lock it. Turn it right to unlock. There's that torque sensor. Well go pedals. Nice heavy duty kickstand. Heavy duty rack. Cell Royal freeway seat. 30.4 millimeter seat post. In case you want to look at putting a suspension seat post in there. Buffang, 750 watt, 1000 peak, 80 newton meters of torque. There's your Shimano freewheel, pretty much industry standard, 1428. Turney derailleur, and it has a derailleur protector bar there. 44 tooth chain ring on the front. There's your GPS module. So there you go, folks. There's the Free Dare Eden. What do y'all think about it? Is it what you're looking for in a cruiser? I can tell you, after riding today, <laughs> the duck likes it. I guarantee y'all one thing, that this Eden will come, become my go-to bike for cruiser city type ride. Very comfortable, it's got the power that I need, it's got a long range battery, and it offers me some exercise through that torque sensor. So I got a few pros and cons for you. It's an excellent bike from a great company, and they have good customer service. It has a, a two-year warranty. It's free shipping. It has quality components on this cruiser-style frame, which is just exactly what I'm looking for. As far as the cons, I have two points of interest on this bike that I would like to see improved, uh, if they could. It's a step-through bike. It's labeled as a step-through bike. But that's almost a 22 inch step through right there, y'all. Now the way I overcome that is, is I simply lean it, lean it over to me, okay? And that's what I look like sitting on this bike. Six foot, 230, with a 30 inch in, inseam. My other area that I, that I would like to see changed is right here. That tail light right there. It's a nice little light. You flip a switch and turn it on, just like that. But I'd like to see an integrated light because this is a battery operated light. I would like to see an integrated light come from the controller up here that you could turn on with a switch up here with your headlight. It would come on with your headlight and whenever you applied your brakes, it would offer up a brake light for you. This is a city cruiser, y'all. It needs a brake light. And there you have it, y'all. That's the pros, that's the cons. I will say this, I would highly recommend this bike as a, as a cruiser style bike. I hope y'all have enjoyed the review. If y'all decide you wanna purchase this bike, hey, look down in our video description there. We're gonna have a free to air link. Go to that link and use my link to purchase your bike. And my channel will get credit at no extra cost to you. And I can tell you what, there's also going to be a RIP 100 discount code on there. You can use that to get an additional $100 off of your purchase. Last but not least, if this video has provided some kind of uh, uh, value to you, hey, hit that subscribe, hit that like, and hit that bell notification. And until we see y'all again out there on the trail somewhere, we hope y'all be blessed. RIP 1 Outdoors.